What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick video showing you this pet grooming vacuum uh, that we personally used two different times and I gotta be honest with you guys, I love this thing. Uh, previously with our dog in particular, every time we groom her it would just be hair kind of all over the place uh, and we've used this like I said a couple times now um, on the dog, actually also on the cat. Uh, and it has done wonders for cleanup. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything that we like about it uh, and tell you uh, a thing that I think you should know before you actually buy it. So as you can see here, here's all the grooming tools. They have this for the different lengths for the hair. We just keep it in the bag. Um, it's just easier to do that. And then this right here, we haven't even used it that yet, but this is for uh, if you're looking to do uh, nail trimming right here. So they have a nail grinder and nail trimmer right here. We've only used the nail grinder, so we haven't used that. Um, but yeah, just a ton of different tools uh, that, you know, help obviously de-shed. This has been the biggest one um, with the cat in particular and the dog, just de-shedding and getting a lot of their fur off of there. Uh, we've used this on the dog just a little bit for some really, you know, where we wanted to keep it really short. And then also here, one thing that we like, if you look at this one, is that as you push it in kind of against the fur, you can see there how it actually kind of protrudes out. Uh, and the best thing about this is that all of these tools that you're seeing obviously connect directly to here. So the hair accumulates in here, which has been amazing. Uh, and this hose right here is the one that captures all of it. So in terms of using it, it's really pretty easy, you guys. You basically just have this dust cup right here um, that you know you can use when you take it off here. Uh, and then you actually will clip this in. One thing is after you clip it, you wanna push to make sure it's really in there. And I think that one is right now. Uh, and basically just showing you the suction power of this. So it's not that loud, which I think is a, a really big thing because I know some of these get a little bit too loud, especially with uh, with animals, but it has it listed as 60 decibels. So if you just turn it on, I'll actually show you the suction power and the noise here. So this is the lowest, um, which it has suction power. We can kind of show you, right? This one doesn't necessarily lift up the whole bag, kind of a little bit. There we go. So that's that one. And then you can change the speed right here. This one's a little bit higher, right? And then the high rate. This one. This is almost, almost like a vacuum, uh, that one in particular. It's a, it's a really strong suction. But that's by far uh, been the biggest thing for us is that it's just reduced our cleanup times so much. And it was kind of a nightmare. Uh, we have a pug, and when we clean her, it's, it's truly a nightmare. So in terms of things to know, we haven't really experienced many issues ourselves, but some people say that the, the clippers here um, will pull their dog's hair. I mean, I would say, you know, with that, that's their experience. We didn't really have that so much. We really focus on this one, the de-shedder more any, and, uh, anyways. Um, so that was the one thing I noticed. The other thing that I think is important to note, and it says it here, to align and then press the dust cap down by your hand and push it inward. So one of the things that I noticed is after I got this, I basically put the dust cup in, right? And I'm trying to do it kind of how I did it before. So I kind of put it in. Well, there, I, I just did it twice again. You can, basically, here's the point. You can put this in without it fully like that and not pushing it inward. You have to push it inward. If you don't put it inward and you just kind of put it on here like this um, and it snaps into place, I don't want to, it's hard for me to replicate it like that. If it just snaps into place and you don't push it inward to make sure it'll get the full suction, it'll almost seem like this thing has no suction at all. It'll be terrible. So if you're having an issue with this, that's the one thing I'd say is push it down, make sure that you push this forward and you'll hear a second snap. That's what they talk about here. That really is a big deal because the first one, it has like no suction at all. And then we did that and it fixed it. So yeah, overall, I think that this is actually a really good buy. Um, it's worked really, really well for us. Uh, we've used it on both our cat and dog. Uh, with the cat, we use on the most quiet setting and just use the D shutter. She's had no problem with it, but that's been awesome just having that. And then the dog, yeah, we've you know used the, the nail grinder. Like I said, that did really well. Um, we use this a little bit, this a little bit, and the D shutter as well. So for us, it's been a big win for sure.